Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Cad Cage, brought to you by Zentech Consultants. Uh, in The Cad Cage, we put two CAD systems side by side, and we try to test out an important design function and see, you know, which CAD system is better, which one is worse, or if they perform the same. Um, and I want to get started with today's competitors. We're going to be working with AutoCAD, going head-to-head -head against BricsCAD. Uh, and what I want to look at today is how each of these systems deals with complex digitized scan data. And what I mean by that is, you know, more and more often we're dealing with, uh, you know, maps generated from point clouds or we're doing PDF imports or digital scans of, you know, areas and items. And a lot of times what happens is we wind up with, um, you know, extensive amounts of what should seem to be simple polylines that really have just a ridiculous amount of information, right? So polylines that, you know, look like they should have 15 or 20 or 30 vertices having hundreds of thousands of vertices, right? Being able to clear that up and work with those files and, you know, reduce file size, it's, it's a big thing that we see every single day, right? So first thing I want to do here is I want to go into AutoCAD. So I've got AutoCAD working here uh, on the left side of my screen, um, and I've got uh, BricsCAD working over here on the right side of my screen. So I'm going to start in AutoCAD today. Um, and, and, and I'm going to work with this single red polyline that you kind of see here that's kind of outlining a, a, a bank um, or an embankment. And what I want to do here is I'm going to show you that, you know, you really have two ways that you can edit these types of polylines uh, with these multiple grip, multiple vertices inside of AutoCAD. Number one, you can go in right, and you can manually edit them and remove them one by one, which is ridiculously time consuming. You're going to be talking about working with, you know, weeks worth of work, because if you go in here and you, and you take a look at this, I want to, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to open up the properties panel over here in BricsCAD, and I'm just going to click on this polyline here, just to kind of show you guys right, exactly what we're talking about in terms of how many vertices we're working with, okay? You guys look over here, you can see right, that the number of vertices in this particular line, just this one single line, I've got 350,617 different vertices. Uh, and I'm highlighting the vertices here in BraceCAD simply because for whatever reason, I have to turn the grips mode off uh, in my AutoCAD drawing, because it just it just crashes when I try to select it with the grips on over there. So, uh, but that's a lot. That's that's an insane number of vertices. And if you try to handle those manually, it's going to take weeks. So I'm going to jump back over here to AutoCAD, and AutoCAD does have a tool that will actually allow you to kind of address this and work with this, right? And it's the Overkill tool. And if we use the Overkill tool here in AutoCAD, you can pick your object. I'm going to pick. This is the exact same drawing. Uh, you know, I'm open in both systems. All right, and I'm going to go in here. One of the things that we want to make sure we do when we're dealing with this is we're going to optimize the segment with polylines, and we're going to tell it do not break polylines because if, if you don't check that do not break polylines, AutoCAD tends to break these into multiple small segments, which is a little weird. Um, and the tolerance is a little hard to get your, your mind around, but you know, 0.1 seems to work pretty well as, as a generic number, right, which is what I'm going to use today. All right, so if I go and I run the, the, uh, the tolerance here and run this, and I just say, okay, Let's go ahead and let AutoCAD run its overkill process. We'll see it takes a minute, and you can see you're tracking its progress down here on the bottom bar. I, and it, it's, I, I will say I was kind of a little thrown with this. When I first ran this, I tried to record this video the first time that I ran into it. It was actually pointed out to me by somebody that I had forgotten to point out that the overkill command had been updated to include the ability to remove excess vertices. All right, so I'm doing that today. All right, so I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to pick on this item, and I'm going to go to its properties. Right, and you'll see that it's kind of cleaned things up, right? And if I go in here to check my vertices, right, I have to go in and I have to kind of click on the current vertices. AutoCAD doesn't give me a full count. I can just go drop down. And you see, well, it kind of 350,468. After overkill, I'm still working with 350,000 plus. Right? It probably knocked out a few hundred vertices out of that process. And playing with the tolerance might get me a slightly better value, but it really doesn't do a wonderful job. I've been able to find a really good number there that, that gives me the kind of results that I want, right? To kind of go along with this, instead, we can go over and we can work in BricsCAD. And in BricsCAD, right, they actually do, um, I'm going to go here to the manage tool, you see that they actually do have a comparable overkill tool. Um, and the overkill tool in here gives you the exact same results. You'll see that if I go in, I can run it exactly the same way. Even the dialog boxes are almost identical, right? With the, you know, optimized segment polylines, don't break the polylines. You get the same results, right? So there's kind of a wash in that respect with the overkills. What I do like about BricsCAD is they have another tool that it doesn't seem, or I haven't been able to find, that AutoCAD has a, uh, a matching component for, which is the idea of 
simplify. All right, and the simplify tools let you go in here, all right, and I can pick my entity. So I'm going to pick this line with my 356,000 uh, processes, all right, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell it I want to simplify this, all right, and I'm going to just use it. Uh, a max angle and distance. In other words, I'm going to set in a maximum value of, you know, one meter and a maximum turned angle of two meters, right, which allows it to choose which, you know, length items it's going to work with in this particular uh, drawing. Right? And I'm going to tell it not to remove polyline arcs and segments, right? I want to maintain my smooth curvature as much as I can. So I'm going to say no to that. Right? And you can see that, okay, it's gone through and it's, it's done that. And you can see that the polyline looks exactly the same. It hasn't really changed. So what did actually happen? Well, you can see right away when I click on the grips here, right? Look at the number of vertices that I have now versus my, what I had before. I'm down to 450 individual vertices, which makes this a much more functional drawing and much easier to edit and work with. I can offset this line and work with it and copy it and do whatever I need. And I can even rerun the simplify with, you know, bigger values to kind of, you know, parse that down a, lit, uh, a, a lot more. And what I really want you guys to kind of know and understand, right, and why this is so important is that, you know, once, once I've done this, right, what I'm going to do here with my BricsCAD drawing is I'm just going to do a quick save as. Right? You notice I haven't done anything else. I haven't purged. I'm just going here. I'm going to do a save as. I'm going to save this as my after simplify drawing, right? So you, what I want you to see is that when I'm done here, when I've, you know, saved this out and I've modified it, right, the original drawing I had here was my simplified drawing. You see it was like 8.5, right, 8.4 gig or uh, megabyte. Right? Look up here at the after simplify, the one I just saved. It's at 4.7. Right? That's almost a 50% reduction in size after reducing down just this one line using the BricsCAD simplify tool. And like I said, to the best of my knowledge, Overkill is the only tool that AutoCAD has that'll compare to that. So I think in this one, definite win going to BricsCAD. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next episode of the CAD Cage.